Hi mamas and welcome to another Pregnancy Pilates session. This one is predominantly for core and upper body. I want you to go ahead and just grab your mat and yourself. Have your water and sweat towel nearby. This is for all three trimesters, so it's safe for everyone. Okay, let's get going. I want you to go ahead and place both hands onto your heart and just breathe. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Connect with your breath. Inhale, release the pelvic floor. Exhale, slightly lift it. You can open your knees a little bit further if you'd like. Inhale, release. Exhale, slightly lift. Tightening your transverse abdominis. Releasing your neck, so if I'm looking from left to right. Letting your hands drop down by your side, opening your eyes and just rolling out those shoulders. Coming onto all fours and giving me a few circles here. If that hurts your wrist, go ahead and give me some fists with your hands. Looking down onto the mat and release. From here, your knees are hip distance apart. I want you to inhale, release the pelvic floor. Go ahead and push that bum back, tilting your pelvis. Exhale. Give me a nice flat back, pressing into your hands, tucking the pelvis under. Inhale, release, open the pelvic floor. Exhale, slightly contract. Tightening your deep abdominals. Release. Audible exhale, think ribs to hips. Pushing that bum back. And then giving me a nice flat back. Eyes to the mat. Last one here. Now there's an option to make this harder. If not, just remain in that, in the same movement. Inhale, prepare, push back. Exhale, curl the toes under. Come up into a nice hover. And release. Pushing back. Exhale, support your core. Lifting those knees off the ground. So you're only lifting the knees just an inch off the ground. You're really thinking ribs to hips. If you're in your third trimester and that doesn't feel comfortable on your abdominals, then go ahead and just do the first pelvic tilt move. So keeping your knees onto the ground. But always be looking down to just check for any doming. One more here, relax the neck. And release. We're gonna do some swimmers with the upper body. Inhale, prepare, exhale, reach the arm up overhead, palm facing in. Bring the arm down towards your thigh. And reaching up. So really reach with those fingertips. Exhale, reach. Swim that arm back. So it's really about the attention of the movement here. Press through the upper body, so making sure that you're not sagging. Your hips are nice and square to the mat. The last one and release. Going ahead and doing the other side. Inhale, prepare, exhale, shoot the arm up 
and round. Reaching up with the fingers. Think ribs to hips, supporting your core. Last one. Back down. Bringing those hands wider than shoulder width apart, just slightly wider. Inhale, prepare your T-zone. Exhale, bring your chest down. Doing some Pilates push-ups and back up. Exhaling. As we come down, bringing the shoulders back. Really supporting your core, and if you're in third time, let's do a check on your abdominals again. Ribs to hips. Two more. And release. Tighten that T-zone. Left leg extends, right arm reaches up. Exhale, elbow to knee, and really bending in that upper back. Inhale, reach, exhale. Go as fast or as slow as you need to here. Supporting the core. If that is too much for you, during your third trimester, go ahead and only do the upper body. So you're gonna reach, Come in, reach, come in. But if not, then you can do both. One more, and release back down. Into the other side. So really rounding through that upper back as your elbow comes in towards your knee. Supporting your core, giving your abdominals a nice hug. Exhaling. Pressing through that supporting hand. Last one. And release. Shake out those shoulders here from left to right. Move your hips. Do what feels good. Back in. So, coming into a nice kneeling position here, make sure your ribs are over your hips. Shoulders are back and down. I want you to inhale, prepare, exhale. Reach those arms back into a nice tricep extension. And give me small pulses here. So I'm really squeezing those triceps, reaching back. Thinking length through my fingers. Chin is slightly tucked in, my shoulders are back and down. And I'm up nice and tall. Almost there, give me a few more. And hold it back there. Hold it in that tricep extension, really squeezing, squeezing, squeezing. And I want you to just rotate your palms up and down. Nice work. Squeezing those triceps, still pressing into that extension. Ribs to hips. Almost there. And go ahead and release. Roll out those shoulders one more time. Give me a little bit of a stretch, just a little bit of a dynamic stretch in the middle here. And then coming back into your box, your all fours. Now we're gonna do some tricep circles. So keeping your elbows nice and tucked in. Inhale, prepare your T-zone. Exhale, bend at the elbows and bring your nose forward in front of your hands. Back up. Inhale, prepare, exhale, bend. Forward with your nose towards the mat, back up. So 
So if you want to make this easier, don't bring your nose as close to the mat. So bend a little less in your elbows. Make sure that your elbows are tucked in. Exhale, you're pushing down towards that mat. Bring your nose nice and down. Last one. And release. Go ahead and bring those, open up those knees and bring those arms forward. Taking a few breaths here to catch your breath. Coming up into a seated position, <clears throat> I want you to go ahead and come onto your elbows. Bring those shoulders back and down. Inhale, prepare your T-zone. Exhale, lift one leg up, back down, up and down. If you are in trimester one or the start of trimester two, you can go ahead and bring both legs up and do your toe taps from up here. But if you're in trimester three, you've got to keep those legs on the ground and keep working on that core connection. So really checking your abdominals, supporting yourself. And from here, inhale, prepare, exhale, we're going to slide the heel down, back up. So again, think ribs to hips for this one. Really deep core connection. Two more. Last one, release. Opening up those legs to about hip height. Coming up, placing your hands down onto the mat. Inhale, prepare your T-zone. Exhale, bring those shoulders back and down. Squeeze the glutes, lift up. Inhale, down. So I'm bringing my hips as high as I can here. My knees are up towards the ceiling and not flaring out. My arms are nice and extended. I'm supporting my core, my pelvic floor. You can slow this movement down if you need to, or don't go up as high. Two more. Last one here. And come back down. Make sure you've got your butt just one inch off the ground. I want you to go ahead and bend those elbows and straighten them. So just give me a couple of little tricep pulses. Two more. Last one. And release. Go ahead and stretch those legs out overhead. Bring those arms in, pulling back on your elbows. Stretching out that tricep, the other side. Coming into a seated position, reaching up, and then just bending that elbow and reaching to the side, getting that nice lateral flexion. And release. So really reach with those fingertips, pull down with your shoulder so it's not creeping up towards your ear. Back to center. Reach up, up, up. And slightly rotate around to your right. It's a very gentle, subtle movement. Reach up to center. Exhale. To the left and back down. 
thank you so much for joining my mini workout. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and click a thumbs up or subscribe so you can get all my new content when it comes fresh, hot off the press. Okay, mamas, take care and bye for now.